Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and today I'm sharing a look at my new curio cabinet. A few people had asked to get a closer look and hear more about it and I've started to fill it up with my treasures. I shared a cabinet in my dining room the other day and now this will be the second one that I'm sharing. I found this online and went and picked it up. I was told by the woman when I picked it up that the woman she bought it from said it was from England. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I was told. On top, it has a mirror. Some of the silver has speckled, so that definitely shows its age. It's a dark wood, and there are uh, two glass shelves on the inside. It does have this key and a lock that works. And then down below, there is a shelf that has uh, had a repair. There's a lot of glass and mirrors, but I think once the door is open, you'll be able to get a better view. The door has curved glass in the front, and that is held in with some cording here at the top and some wood on the sides. So I thought that um, I wanted to put colorful things in this cabinet since it is dark wood and I have a collection of cranberry glass. It's got a beautiful pink color to it. I have some purple things and on the bottom I put the clear and metal. I have a very small collection of blue items but this is what I decided to do in this cabinet. So I have similar things sprinkled throughout and I just have them organized by color in general. Picture frames, perfume bottles, lots of glass and uh, jewelry pieces. So we've got some picture frames in here and then anything that I had that was the cranberry color um, or I'm pretty sure they call it cranberry glass but it definitely has a beautiful pink, red pink color to it. I have a few other pieces but I'm limited with space and uh, some of those things that are maybe a little bit more functional than decorative, I'm using, and this is just on display. I do have my pedestal in here, and I have a little candle tucked into that piece there, and every time I open the door, it's just a beautiful lilac scent. This is one of the perfume bottles that I thrifted recently, and I added a few pieces of jewelry to decorate it. On the second shelf, I've concentrated some of my purple items. Again, I have some more than this, but this is what I decided to put in. I didn't want it to be too full or overwhelming, and I think it only took me about a day to fill it up and then feel like I still needed more space. You'll notice some of the newer perfume bottles that I'm playing around with. In the back, I have what I call salt and pepper shakers, but they really could just be for scents or powder or hat pins and I filled them with some beads and then I have hat pins stuck in. New jewelry finds, presentation boxes, and some pins. So I think you'll, if you've been watching some of my recent thrift hauls, you will see a lot of my finds. We've got a jewelry casket back here. I think this was the first one that I ever purchased. And I've got some baptism pins in there. I'm getting in close so you can take a peek at everything. The bottom shelf is my clear glass and metal collection. It's wood, so to lighten it up, I used one of my plateau mirrors and it really helps sparkle and reflect the light. 
it creates some nice height and some variety as well. And I did the same thing in the back. I have a mirror. Now I did put my new box, it's a needle box or a record player, to create some height for the two perfume bottles. When they were down low, this vanity jar in front of it blocked a lot. So it's given it um, some height in the back and then you can see more of the bottles as well. I think I need to look back at the other two shelves, even this one, to see what I can put underneath of the items in the back to create some height so the things in front don't block it. On the bottom shelf, I have a picture frame, perfume bottles, and some of my older books that have the beautiful covers, gold and floral designs. The bottom book is too tall to stand up, so that's why I have these laying down. And I have them fanned out so a little bit of each cover can peek out. But it would be nice to stand them on top of the big book and maybe find a marble bookend. That's a thought for the future. There is a space underneath to put something on display. My preference is to have everything up and off the ground, but it would help hide the cord and the power strip. So maybe a pretty small basket that has some linens coming out of it. That could be pretty to lay my um, dried lavender in the fall. So that's a thought. On the top of the cabinet, I have my jewelry caskets. I really love these and I wanted them to be um, on display and not mixed in with some of the other pieces where there's a lot going on. And on the inside, I've got a juxtaposition of natural and man-made pieces. So in here, I have a small perfume bottle and a piece of coral. Now I could leave this open and then put even more things in, but for now, everything fits with the top closed. This piece right here is empty, so I can find something to add. And on the back one, I've got perfume bottles. I have an iridescent shell, more coral, with a bracelet draped over top. And I might put some lace or a doily on top of this. I just have to decide how much is too much. I would like to lighten up the area, but I also don't want what I put down to have a pattern to distract from, I think, the simple beauty of these boxes. If you enjoy seeing these treasures, seeing how I use the things that I thrift, then please stick around, hit subscribe. I would love to have you here. Have a good one. Bye.